Folks, this is how I initially examine stone tools. I go to the woods and pick up some interesting looking stones and then I will wash them really well. Get a light on this. I will wash them with really well with just water and toothbrush. really sort of avoid looking at them really well until I've washed them but when I see an eye I think that's cool yeah there's still dirt on it and I'll wash it better later I just want to take a look at what I found today next especially small hand tools. I have still sort of avoid examining them real well. So I want to examine them in the dark. I want to feel the tool without looking at it. And um, Find where it feels like my hand fits the best as a tool. And that one is like that. Very comfortable. And it is an ancient cutting blade. With an eye picked out on it. Maybe two. This is quite a pictograph. And it's a nice cutting blade. Well, I sort of knew I was going to find good pieces. Let's see what else we got here. That one. Feels like that is comfortable. Oh, and it is. And it is a drill that appears to have been turned into a sanding tool. And with one edge for um, scraping. Maybe there's an eye in it. Okay. That feels comfortable. And it's an abrasion tool. with an eye on the working end. Ooh. I grabbed that without feeling it. That feels comfortable. And it is a cutting blade. Interesting. That feels comfortable. A crescent knife.
This one I showed in one of the other videos. I haven't really examined it. I thought it looked so cool as it was. I thought it was a little horse. But it was a crescent blade. I'll stop now. I don't know what that feel like. Feels right there. That's where it falls to shape. Another little drill that has been used down to become a sanding edge, grading edge or whatever. This one feels can't find it if anything it'd be right there ah yes another crescent knife Let's look at this one I just took out of the water. Oh, look at that one. I need to clean this up some more. Possibly an eye picked out there. Possibly there. That's an eye. Ah, there's one eye, and there's the other eye. Of an effigy. But I don't feel the tool use. stable enough for an anvil that's fairly stable if a person needed to bend something over and then mash it down the abrasion looks like it's right in there It appears to be an elephant effigy, but I don't see the tool use. Not yet. I'll look at this. If I find more stuff, we'll see it again. This one I'm not sure. That feels comfortable. Color cup. Oh, highly smooth, polished edge. Yes, I did have it for polishing. Maybe that may not even have been a tool. Oh, wait, I see something. So I guess this method doesn't always work because I see this. It was a nutting stone.
part of a netting stone. Or it could have been used for crushing up color. That's kind of mean looking. That's an eye. So it definitely was a tool. My goodness. That probably was a dozer chip. And then there is red clay around here and it's soaked into the stone. I think I would call that part of the nutting or color grinding. Where did it? Oh. And this one sort of falls into my hand right there. I almost can't make it not. See what this is. Oh, polishing stone. All the wear on this looks to be from polishing on all sides. I think that would be for polishing stone. Let's see if there's a figure in it. I like horses, folks. If you've seen my videos, you know uh, I keep looking for horses. So maybe that's a horse. There is an eye right there. And it has the particular shape of stone that can be easily turned into an elephant. This soft, round, wedge shape. I see elephants in that type of stone often. So yes, I see an eye picked out there. And there. And pecked around to, to accent the trunk. Polishing stone. This big guy, I'm just fascinated with why it's not a tool, because I found eyes in it. I mean, even an elephant effigy is seen in it. Well, that's what it wants to do, is right there. What am I doing? Well, it is very comfortable now. A hammer stone for ochre colors. Definitely an elephant. It looks like it was used to crush up yellow. another hello <laughs> sorry folks this was uh wow this is very comfortable in one spot what's that and it is a cutting blade Soft up in here where it'd be held. Not soft there. Still a little bit sharp. That 
may be an eye, has a maybe and maybe one right up there and there Cutting blade. Folks, I have been um, a little bit, a little bit beat up verbally, uh, but that's okay. Um, it's simply because I don't know. I'm not a flint napper. I have never broken a stone in any way, shape, or form. But I had stated that my interest was in the older tools really really old tools and I think mainly it's handheld tools uh, maybe it's because I haven't found very many arrowheads but I've been told recently that some of these are as old if not older than some of the hand tools that I have and uh, that kind person replied nicely and sort of told me that this is sort of the age of uh, some of these. Take this with a grain of salt because I don't know. So evidently this style of making points was not just recently, the last few hundred years, it was possibly much older. It actually gives me a thrill to um, wish to accept that. And these two or three in particular had some significance because they are made with a right hand bevel. Right hand only, which gives a really nice sharp edge and rather a serpentine look looking down the end. This one, of course, is uh, evidence of core flaking. Bang, and you get that. Soft on one side, sharp on the other. I still probably will not change my um, focus to learning all about these guys. They are awesome, but can't learn everything but thank you kind person for informing that these are older than I had thought this one just has too many mysteries for me and I want it to be totally clean, as if it was when it was new. I know that it was painted yellow. 
it could have been a yellow grinding stone too but it's still it was painted yellow and then there's wear in strange places but it was painted yellow and um, it has organic moss mold from just you know the years of being a stone and the way I cleaned that and it doesn't affect any color that color has been on there for thousands of years and whatever made it stick so much to that stone it's still doing it but I would take the stone and soak it in 20 volume hydrogen peroxide I have done this before and it makes them look like new almost as far as getting all the organic material out of it and all and uh, I'll simply soak it in hydrogen peroxide mm, could be a month or two but I will definitely get back to this one